Yo, what is up everybody? Jump in here, and today I am back on some Dragon Age Origins. In our last episode, we did the Elven Alien Niche, which I call the Ghetto of Dinarim. In this episode, I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing the Lands Meet, so this should be epic. Alright, so we need to talk to Eamon. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Loghain. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Well, alrighty. Now we get to go to the palace and do the lands meet. So, all you actually have to do is just, I guess, travel there with the main gate. But yeah, I, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and edit this and I will see you when I get there. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair. If you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the land's meet. Now, wouldn't you? You have torn this nation apart to oppose my lord, and never once tried to understand why he is a hero to Ferelden. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. Man, this chick is so brainwashed. But yeah, you can persuade her. She's like, nothing can stop me. Yeah, okay. I have had so many doubts of late. Loghain is a great man, but his hatred of Orle has driven him to madness. He has done terrible things. I know it. But I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. It's so funny, it's like she's so firm at first, and now all of a sudden she's like, Oh, well, he is pretty bad. Don't ask me to betray him. Oh. I never thought duty would taste so bitter. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Loghain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. <laughs> that is so sad, man. Alright, but, you know, this is the point of the game where you should totally save it. I've already saved it, but you should totally save it right here because you have to make the... I think there's no turning back at this point, so you have to keep that in mind, but let's do it! Two autosaves, yeah! Who designed that? My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden, how will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? Where is the famous steadfastness of the dwarves? <laughs> How much did it cost the Empress to buy your loyalty? Alright, so let's go ahead and persuade. There are enough refugees in my Banorn now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orlay? The Blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight, yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them 
four legions of chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the chevaliers, can we really expect them to simply return from whence they came? Do tell, Dwarf. The whole landsmeet has been quite frantic to hear a tactical analysis of Ostagar delivered by a clown. You goaded him into making that charge. He believed the tales, Warden. He thought your handful of men would turn the tide for him. Strategy and consequences be hanged. What would you have me do? Kalen's was not the only life in my hands. Should I have sacrificed the entire army for his mistake? Do not imagine that you can shame me with Kalen's death. He was Marik's son. My king. No one regrets his loss more than I do. Well, at least you actually admit it. Indeed. Do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? You took my daughter, our queen, by force, killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdane. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. Ha ha ha! She is the game changer. So... The Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Wait a second. I always remember saying something about the Elves being slaves and about how or whatever the hell else was going on he was doing. That's crazy. I guess you don't even need to do any of that crap. Because all you got to do is persuade him. Son of a bitch! Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Oh, man. Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so, but Ostagar seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough. Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. 
A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? This is such bullshit, I always hated this, kind of. Because you do all that, you convince everyone to take your side, and then the outcome can be judged by a duel? I know that I guess shit like this went down, you know, back in the day, but... That's still so crazy. It's like I've already persuaded everyone. They know I'm not lying. The queen's on my side. Why do I have to duel this guy? Can't we just like arrest him and be like, yo, you need to go to prison for your crimes and fuck off. Whatever. I'll fight you myself. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. I wonder... It would be so epic if you br if you would bring your dog and be like the dog is my champion. <laughs> that would be really funny, especially if the dog just whooped his ass real bad. Come on, bitch. You want some of this? Bring it on. All right, we're going to stun him. I know we're gonna fuck him up! Yeah! God, he's getting destroyed. What up? I'm gonna punish you for your crimes! I underestimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kalen, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Huh. Now you have a choice here to either kill him or to let him live. I think if you choose to let him live, Alistair will just flip the fuck out. But I'll, I'll accept his surrender and I'll see what Alistair says. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live after everything he's done? Kill him already! Wait, there is another option. The Tan is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. What? No, that's crazy. There are crazy. too few of us. It's not a matter of what we like. It's a matter of what we must do. Our duty is to slay the Archdemon. We aren't judges. Kinslayers, blood mages, traitors, rebels, carter thugs, common bandits... Anyone with the skill and the metal to take up the sword against the Darkspawn is welcome among us. There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many Wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan! This man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you. How can we simply forget that? That's right. That is right. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora, hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure what's best. I don't remember, but I think the best option here is for your Warden to kill him. Because if Alistair kills him, then I think she gets pissed and it's like, How are you going to... I'm not going to marry the man who just murdered my father. Are you crazy? Oh, man. Time to die for your crimes, bitch. Oh, what a badass sword. Oh, that makes it so much worse. So it is decided. 
Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? So much for our plan to rule together. If Alistair would rather not have the throne, I am more than willing to take it. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? Let's go ahead. Yeah, I can As settle this As the arbiter this now. of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Eldon? All right. So they are going to get married, and they're going to be king and queen together. We do. I believe this is what King Merrick wanted. To see his blood tied to my father's to begin a new line of Ferelden kings. But I... I mean... I, I did swear an oath. But what I mean is, I'm, I'm all for founding a new line of kings. But... Well, there's the blight. What the king is trying to say, my lords and ladies, is that he will be taking the field with his fellow Grey Warden to do battle with the Archdemon. Uh, yes. That. Until then, I shall stay in Denerim and rule in my husband's absence, as I did for Caelan. But I trust Alistair shall reach a more heroic ending. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Alistair, you are just a horrible, horrible public speaker. Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! Ferelden is depending on you all. Well, that, that last little bit was actually kind of good, I guess. <sighs> but now Alistair is going to be a little bitch about it. No matter what you do, he bitches. Ugh, he's annoying sometimes. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Yeah, that's what that means. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I thought we were friends. You knew how I felt about this, yet you went ahead and did it anyway. Why? Oh, my God. No matter what you do, you just cannot satisfy this dude. Yes. Well, no. She would have executed me, so that would have been bad. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Yes, it does. So, in our next episode... Oh, he disapproves? What a bitch, man. I mean, I just have... His, I. He's going to get married, and, like, Anora is, like, one of the hottest chicks in this game. Like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Anyway. Alright, so on our next episode, we're going to go to Red Cliff, and then eventually we will beat the game. So that will be awesome, and I'm excited. But I really hope you have enjoyed this episode, so I would really appreciate it if you could like and favorite it for me. That would be awesome. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a nice day, and poo.